Welcome everyone to the NFC East ratings for Madden NFL 16. What this is is EA's takes on the four teams in the NFC East and what their overalls are. And based off of last season and off season, they'll give their rating. So let's get started with coming in at number four is the Washington Redskins with a 75 overall. The front office wants RG3 with the 78 overall at QB, but both Kirk Cousins 73 overall and Colt McCoy with the 73 overall are nipping at his heels. Wide receivers Deshaun Jackson with the 88 overall and Pierre Garçon with the 83 overall are solid downfield targets. Rookie right tackle Brandon Scherf with the 80 overall helps a struggling offense line. While solid halfback Alfred Morris with the 84 overall remains a starter after three consecutive. 1,000 yard seasons. Now for the defense. Left outside linebacker Ryan Kerrigan with the 90 overall is a bright spot on the defense. Along with right end Jason Hatcher with the 87 overall. And new arrival defensive tackle Terrence Potros Knighton coming from the Denver Broncos with the 88 overall. Chris Culliver with the 85 overall pairs with D'Angelo Hall with the 77 overall as a starting cornerback. So that is. The number four spot with the Washington Redskins coming in with the 75 overall. Now, as we all thought, coming in at number three is the New York Giants with the 77 overall. Head coach Tom Coughlin is back for another go-around in the Big Apple. Can he take the Giants back to the postseason? Quarterback Eli Manning with the 87 overall will look for big years out of both wide receivers Odell Beckham Jr. with the 94 overall and Victor Cruz with the 84 overall. First round pick Eric Flowers with the 76 overall gets a chance to shine on Manning's blind side. Halfback Rashad Jennings with the 80 overall shares the backfield with the Super Bowl hero Shane Vereen with the 81 overall. As well as second year back Andre Williams with the 73 overall. Rookie strong safety Landon Collins with the 74 overall joins an excellent secondary of cornerbacks Dominique Rogers Cromartie with the 88 overall, and Prince of Mukamara with the 86 overall. Don't forget about defensive right end Jason Pierre-Paul with the 89 overall. Has had an eventful offseason, but can be a force when healthy. So that is the Giants coming at the number three spot with the 77 overall. Now coming in at number two is the Philadelphia Eagles with the 84 overall. Chip Kelly made a high, a number of high pro File offseason moves. Now it's time to see them in action. Quarterback Sam Bradford, with the 79 overall, leads the question marks into camp. Halfback DeMarco Murray with the 94 overall is no question at all. Led by a great offensive line, including left tackle Jason Peters with the 96 overall, right tackle Lane Johnson with the 88 overall, and center Jason Kelsey with the 87 overall. Now, halfback Ryan Matthews, 84 overall, can spell him when needed. The Eagles have a revamped secondary of new arrivals, cornerback Byron Maxwell at the 84 overall, and cornerback Walter Thurman with 75 overall, and rookie cornerback Eric Lowe with the 72 overall. Now middle linebacker Kiko Alonso with the 87 overall could have a breakout year after coming over in a Sean McCoy trade, but we'll see after the, cus the concussion he just got in training camp. Now. We have coming at the number one spot, last but not least, the last team we have left is the Dallas Cowboys with the 86 overall. Can the Cowboys win the division without DeMarco Murray? It's up to halfback Darren McFadden with the 76 overall to take his place. The offensive line is still strong with left tackle Terrence Smith with the 93 overall, right guard Zach Martin with the 92 overall, and center Travis Frederick with the 91 overall leading the way. Don't forget about quarterback Tony Romo with the 93 overall looks to build on a career year alongside with wide receiver Des Bryant who just got the big contract with the 96 overall and tight end Jason Witten with the 93 overall. Right outside linebacker Sean Lee with the 89 overall is always an impact when healthy. Middle linebacker Orlando McLean with the 86 overall takes over Lee's spot in the middle. Cornerback Orlando Scandrick with the 88 overall is a standout in the secondary. Can the Cowboys put last year's heartbreak behind them, knock off the Seahawks and the Packers? We'll find out this upcoming season. So, that is the NFC East ratings for Madden NFL 16. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you agree with this list in the comment section down below. I do. It's a pretty solid list. I think the overalls are pretty good. They're fine for me. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. But before we end off the video, let's have a quick little recap of the four teams with the ratings for Madden NFL 16. Now coming in at number four once again is the Washington Redskins with a 75 overall. Coming in at number three is the New York Giants with a 77 overall. Coming in at number two is 84 overall Philadelphia Eagles. And last but not least, coming in at number one with 86 overall is the Dallas Cowboys. So that is it for the NFC East ratings for Madden NFL 16. I'll catch you guys later.